We're now going to look at acid and hydrides, um, which is another carboxylic acid derivative because when we hydrolyze it, it will reform uh, the parent carboxylic acid. Um, and we'll look at that in a second. Let's just have a look at what we mean by an acid and hydride. So I draw the functional group here. Um, the R groups are going to be the same in this case. Um, and as you can see, it is kind of made from um, the parent carboxylic acid. We've kind of got two of them now. Um, so the functional group here is where these kind of carboxylic acids are kind of merged together. Um, and you've got an oxygen directly between two carbonyl groups like so. And that is the acid and hydride functional group. Uh, let's just have a look at how we might name them. So, so the R groups will be the same if I start off with the most simplest one, where the R group is just a hydrogen. As you can see, this was made from methanoic acid, okay, um, and therefore this one here is called methanoic anhydride. So rather than just saying acid, we replace that word with anhydride. Okay, so it's still oic at the end, just methanoic anhydride here. Uh, next one is where the R group is that. So as you can see, this was originally made from ethanoic acid, and therefore this one here is called ethanoic anhydride. Okay, and obviously if I keep extending the chain of that chain of this, um, if this was made from propanoic acid. Um, it would be called propanoic anhydride, uh, next one would be butanoic anhydride, and so on. Okay, so that should be fairly straightforward. Let's have a look at how we make acid anhydride, so the synthesis of them. Okay, um, so to make them, you need to have the parent carboxylic acid. I'm just going to go for ethanoic acid because we're going to be making ethanoic anhydride um, you need two lots of them and all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it um, when I've drawn it so it's just the same thing I've just flipped the molecule um, you'll see why in a second um, and this is now going to form our acid anhydride and the anhydride part just means in the absence of water so water has to be removed from these uh, two acids to form um, our acid anhydride okay so what you should see is you're going to remove two hydrogens and an oxygen um, to form the bond between the carbon and the oxygen and that's going to give our acid anhydride in this case it's ethanoic anhydride and a water molecule as well okay so if i just write the um, general equation for this. It's two lots of carboxylic acids forms the acid anhydride plus water like that. Okay, so it's the removal of water um, that forms the anhydride um, in this process here. Given that this is a carboxylic acid derivative, that means we can hydrolyze this to reform uh, the parent carboxylic acid. And hopefully you can see that's just the reverse of this reaction. Okay, The forward reaction is the synthesis. The reverse reaction is the um, hydrolysis of this. Um, because if we do acid anhydride plus water, we reform the carboxylic acid. So if we do the reverse of this, reverse of that, that would just be um, the hydrolysis of the anhydride. Okay. Right, let's now have a think as to why we might want to make an acid anhydride. What's the purpose behind it? So before we were looking at acyl chlorides, um, we saw that acyl chlorides were more reactive um, than the parent carboxylic acid. We needed the reactions of those with alcohols. Um, you didn't require a catalyst. And the same thing applies for acid anhydrides as well. Okay, so acid anhydrides are more reactive than the parent carboxylic acid. And therefore, when you do a reaction with them and um, an alcohol, you don't um, require a catalyst. 
let's do a quick example of that. Um, this. So as I said, we use them to form esters. So acid anhydride plus uh, an alcohol do not require a catalyst. So no catalyst required. And that's going to form the ester. In this case, it is methyl methanoate. So I'm just going to name everything then. So methyl, um, no, this isn't methyl. This is methanoic anhydride. This is methanol. So that's formed methyl methanoate. And hopefully you can see that we also have to release a, um, a carboxylic acid molecule as well. So in this case, we also form um, methanoic acid. I'm just going to put that up here. So plus methanoic acid. Like that. So there's not a water molecule being released now. Um, it is a um, carboxylic acid molecule in this case. Okay. Um, so yep, this um, equation doesn't require a catalyst. Uh, the same way an acyl chloride is reactive um, and doesn't require a catalyst. Neither does an acid anhydride. Um, we also use acyl chlorides to react with phenols, and we can use an acid anhydride for that same um, purpose here. Um, so we can form esters with phenols. Uh, so again, if I just do an example of that. Um, so we've got um, methyl, no, methanoic acid, methanoic anhydride. Sorry. Methanoic anhydride. And if we react that with a phenol, this um, reaction would happen. So if we try to do this with methanoic acid and phenol, it wouldn't react. But using methanoic anhydride, um, it will react to form phenyl methanoate. And it will release a methanoic acid molecule as well. In the process. Okay, so again, um, it allows for a ester to form with a phenol. Um, again, does not require a catalyst. Um, in this process either. Okay, so if you want to compare the reactivity um, of these carboxylic acids, acid derivatives. So we have a carboxylic acid, we have an acid anhydride, and we have an acyl chloride. Okay, out of these three, Carboxylic acids are the least reactive. Okay, when you want to react them to make an ester uh, with an alcohol, you have to use a catalyst, or you have to use an acid catalyst, and usually have to heat it as well. And carboxylic acids do not react with phenols. Okay, so these are the uh, carboxylic acid is the least reactive, uh, whereas acid anhydrides and acyl chlorides uh, don't require a catalyst when reacting with an alcohol, and they will both react with a phenol um, to form an ester. OK, so in terms of reactivity, and I'm drawing it out this way um, for a reason, it becomes more reactive. Oh, sorry, reactivity increases as you go from a carboxylic acid to an acid anhydride to an acyl chloride. Acyl chlorides are the most reactive. Um, then it's acid anhydride, then it's carboxylic acid. So um, there's some, the reason why we use acid, acid anhydrides rather than acyl chloride sometimes is because acyl chlorides are actually too reactive sometimes. Okay, So that's why sometimes we go for an acid anhydride um, rather than an acyl chloride.